me take a sniff. Little bit. Is this a bergamot in it? I'll never know. Well, I will if I go look it up. Hey guys, so today I did my makeup and now I'm gonna take off that makeup. And I thought I would film it. I never really do videos like this, but I'm just in my bathroom and it's time to relax and enjoy the evening. I've gotten so much stuff done today. It's been one of those days where it's like super, super, super productive for me. I cleaned my entire house. I got all the stuff out of it. I wiped everything down. I like washed the refrigerator. It was one of those days where I didn't just pick it up, I like cleaned it. And I thought that I would film like my little nightly skincare thing. I also got this in the mail as a gift from Tarte and it came with some skincare and stuff in it, but it's basically, it's a skincare refrigerator. And I never have tried one of these yet. So I thought maybe I would plug it in and give it a go and try putting my skincare in it. Have you guys ever used one of these before? Are they totally gimmicky or do they actually make a difference? I don't know. I don't know. I thought I could try it. I'd like to put my moisturizer in there. And then also I got this little thing. It's a citrine roller, I believe. Yeah, face and neck citrine roller. I used it this morning and it feels really nice, but I thought, man, if this was super, super cold, it would feel ultra good. So I don't know, let's try it out. Looks like there's, oh, is this a car charger? Yeah, yeah, a little car charger. Cute. Oh, this can also warm things, huh? Well, that's kind of neat. So I'm gonna plug it in. I think I'm gonna go cold, even though it's winter and having warm stuff might feel really nice. I think it could be really nice to have that awakey burst of coldness on your face in the morning. So I'll plug this sucker in and see what we can do. I don't know how long it's gonna take to like get cold in there. Is that all you do? How does it how does it make cold? Do I not understand how things work? I, I just think I don't understand how things work because there's like a fan, but how does it cold? Because it's not like an air conditioner, is it? I don't know. Oh, it's already it's already kind of cold inside. Interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna put in some of my Tatcha products. This is not sponsored at all by Tatcha. By the way, this is, I just really like their skincare very, very much. This is the Tatcha water cream. This is a new one. And then this is the silk cream. I tried this for the first time today. I'd never tried it before, but I'm trying to give things a go and see how I like them. This I've been using every single day and I'm gonna be using this again today. Wow. Mm. This is the Tatcha Silk Peony. This is like an eye cream. I'm trying to use it every day. Whether or not it does anything, I don't know. But all I know is that skincare is something I highly neglect taking care of myself on. Like I do it every day now. I talked to you guys in a recent video about this. I'm gonna link it up at the top somewhere. And I talked to you guys about the fact that I have been trying every single day to do my skincare, wake up early, treat myself. Treat yourself care about my hygiene and stuff like that on a more intense level. And so that's what I'm trying to do. And so in that, I've been trying to do my eye cream every single day and I've been liking it so far. I feel like it's good. I don't know that I notice much of a difference, but I've only been doing it for like a week and a half, two weeks. So we'll see. We'll see if it makes a difference. So far, I can tell you that that little container is going to last a very long time. You need very little of the product to actually do something, so. All right, so I've got all my skincare in this little fridge. I'm just gonna let it sit here and get cold while I remove my makeup. <gasps> oh my gosh, you are so, so sweet. Would everybody like to see you? Hi, everybody wants to see you. Oh my goodness, my little ass guy. Oh my goodness, what a baby. All right, so lately when I've been getting ready for bed, I am first starting off removing my lashes and I remove my jewelry and I'm doing something new too. I can't believe all this stuff to a lot of other people is like not that big of a thing. Most people are like, bitch, you're literally making a big deal out of this. Like this is some monumental thing, but I do this every day. I didn't do it every day though. So if I would take my earrings off, I would just set them on the side of my counter. But now I'm trying to put them back where they go. <laughs> just so many people are like, dude, you are trash bag. You haven't been doing this for that long. I know, but I was just being lazy. Like I was like, I'm taking my earrings off. I'll just set them down on the counter. And then what's the worst that could happen? Well, you're going to lose one of the backs of them. You're going to forget where you put it. It's going to get lost somehow. It's going to be end up. And then it's just sitting on the counter. So now I'm putting it back on its earring thing. Like, Dude, I'm sorry, I know. I know to so many people, they're like, I've been doing this my entire life. How are you just now doing this? It's one of those things that when you're just in the habit of like taking the cap off the toothpaste tube, you could just set it next to the toothpaste tube or you could put it back on. Yeah, and I was always a set it next to the tube kind of bitch before now. Now I'm not. 
and I'm trying to make it a habit, okay? Okay, so the fridge is totally cold, getting cold on the inside. How cute is this little skincare fridge? I can't believe that I'm actually using one of these. I never thought I would, but you know what? Life is changing and I'm okay with it. I'm gonna use my face halo to remove the majority of my makeup because I try not to ever use single use makeup wipes anymore. If you guys don't know what a face halo is, basically it's made out of like a microfiber cleansing, I don't know, it's like microfiber. But you can see it removes your makeup. All that's on here is water. There's no makeup remover on here at all. And it totally removes your makeup. This is from Chloe Morello's brand. Highly recommend, love it so much. There's another brand like called Makeup Eraser. That one is like just like a water washcloth and for me the shape of this one is so much more conducive to like it being washed and I don't know just using it is so much easier so I way prefer the face halo so I removed my makeup with that first and you can see it really gets it like a lot of makeup comes off so that's just my first step then I'm gonna go in with my cleanser this is the Tatcha pure one-step camellia cleansing oil really like this very much it's an oil but it doesn't make your skin feel like icky and oily I don't know if you know what I mean so I just start off with the camellia cleansing oil I put a couple of squirts of that on my hand and then rub it into my skin and this is the cleanser that I'm using it's really glidey it gets all the excess makeup off. I really love it and it smells so nice. Tatcha has this smell to their products. If you've never used them before, you'll know. Or what? Tatcha just has this specific smell to their products that you could be blindfolded and you'd know how to pick it out if you smelled it before. Okay, so now the cleanser is all over my face and I'm gonna use my Foreo. This is not sponsored by Foreo, by the way. I have worked with them in the past. I just genuinely actually like this. This is the Luna Mini 2. They're not paying me to talk about this. They don't even know that I'm gonna talk about it in this video. I have done a partnership with them, but I really genuinely like this product very much and I feel like it does help all the gunk get out of my skin. So this turns on. It vibrates and you just wash your face. I'm gonna wet it a little bit. I just do this for about one minute. And this cleanser is really interesting because while it is like an oil, it rinses off really easily where sometimes oils make your skin feel like they have like this film on them. This really doesn't. It becomes like milky and washes off really easily. It's not one of those that leaves like that icky film on your skin at all. It just feels clean. Okay, I'm gonna open my little fridge and see if it's cold. It's pretty cold. This is like my little citrine roller. These are so interesting because when they're cold, they feel like wet. What it does for my skin, I will literally never know. Maybe you're supposed to do it after skincare. I don't know, I just think it feels good. It's kind of squeaky. I did this this morning and I do feel like it helped kind of wake me up and make me feel kind of refreshed and good. All right, so I'm gonna put my Tatcha water cream on now. This is a new jar of it that I just opened. And this is a lovely moisturizer. If you've never tried it before, it's just incredibly hydrating. It sinks into the skin really, really well. This is the texture of it right here. It's very, very, it's very unique. I've never felt anything quite like it. Essentially, it feels like such a soft, almost thick cream, but as soon as you start rubbing it in, it's almost as if the texture completely changes and goes from a cream to water. And it is literally called the water cream. And you might be like, okay, bitch, you're literally just taking the name of that and making it up. No, it's the most unique texture. It goes from like thick to like, it's almost like it melts away down into like a water consistency and it really feels like it hydrates your skin. It just sinks right in and feels so, so, so nice. So I like to put this on. Sometimes I don't do this stuff just depending, but tonight I am wanting to go through all the steps that I've been doing. I don't know. I've heard mixed reviews on if Tatcha is even good for your skin or not. Some people are like, no, it's fine. And some people are like, no, it's not. I don't know. I need to listen to a skincare expert, but there's just so much to know that it overwhelms me. It's almost like with gardening when I wanted to garden. Gardeners made it sound so intense that I just didn't even ever want to do it. And then when I just put all my stuff aside and started doing what I wanted to do, then I I liked gardening. Then they made it too difficult for me out of the get-go. It made me not want to do it. Okay, these products are already cold from being in this fridge. This is nice. So now I'm taking the Silk Peony from Tatcha. Ooh, the cold skincare is where it's at. This has only been in here for like 15 minutes. I'm surprised they're this chill. And I do use my ring finger like they say to, but you need so very little of this product because you know, your under eye skin is very delicate. And I just realized that I never take care of this area and 
I want to start taking care of all areas of my life and my under eyes are no different. And then this will be my final step. This is the Ordinary Organic Rose Hip Oil. This is lovely. I love this product so, so, so much. People ask what it smells like. People are really concerned about the smell of this for some reason. A lot of people are like, it smells so bad. I think it just smells kind of like, oh, like an oil. I don't know. It just smells like, like an oil. Maybe they all kind of smell the same to me. But this doesn't break me out. It doesn't make anything bad. It's only good. I love it so, so, so much. I just take a few drops of it on my hand. I rub it into my fingertips. Pretty good and then I just gently smooth it over the skin. There's something about it that I just absolutely love. I feel like it really does help even out my skin tone and make my face less red. I have very red skin as you can see down here. And I've noticed that when I wake up in the morning now, my skin just looks brighter. I don't know, I can't even explain it. It's almost just like more even and less splotchy, less red. Obviously I'm rubbing stuff into it right now, but after a few hours of being on my skin, it just, I don't know, it's just, it's like it's working. And I like it too, because I feel like it's such a simple ingredient. It's just cold pressed, organic, 100% rose hip seed oil. And so you know what it is. It's not like it has all these weird ingredients like propylene, glycolithus, nitrate, cerium. You like that? <laughs> you know what I mean? So sometimes when skincare gets a little bit too much like that, like even Tatcha products, I'm like, okay, but like what is that ingredient? And is it going to help or hurt my skin? But it's nice because I don't feel that way at all when I know that it's rose hip seed oil. I should have done this step first, but I just didn't even notice how much eye makeup was left over on my eyes. I'm just using a little cotton tip with some micellar cleansing water on it. I'm kind of getting the eye makeup off my eyes. I didn't realize that there was so much eyeliner left. Oh my gosh, you are so stinking cute with your little pink belly. hanging out with me. I hope this video was kind of nice. I'm going to go right in my planner. I'm going to go watch the holiday. I am going to go enjoy my evening, sip a cup of tea. I have been insanely obsessed with London fogs, bitch. Okay. My friend Marie, cause I told her, I was like, bitch, I love tea. And she was like, is this new for you? And I was like, okay, I thought you knew me. And I was like, yes, yes, it's new for me. I've never liked tea before. You guys know this. If you've seen any of my last videos, I can't get enough. I told her, she was like, oh, have you had a London fog? And I was like, what is it? She was like, okay, get one. It is Earl Grey tea with steamed milk or steamed cream when you're keto and some vanilla. And I do sugar-free vanilla. And I went and got one and I have had like seven of them since she said to get them. They are so good. If you've never had a London Fog, go get one now. They are so delightful. The flavor of Earl Grey tea, I've never had it in my life. Cannot get enough. I have one downstairs right now. I'm gonna go finish it up right now. I went and bought all the stuff to make my own at home because they are delightful. They are so, so good. They're just like comfort in a cup. They're mm, the flavor of bergamot, bitch. I have never had anything that I like so much. Bergamot, who knew what it was? I didn't, it's like a little green citrus fruit. That's like a lemon and lime kind of mixture, but it's the flavor of like fruity pebbles, tricks, bergamot, same thing. You know what, kind of, Tatcha stuff almost smells like bergamot-y. Let me take a sniff. Little bit, is this have bergamot in it? I'll never know. Well, I will if I go look it up, but it is wonderful. If you guys have never tried one, please do. I've been having them all the time. I just cleaned the shit out of my house. I don't know if that video is up yet or what, but I did like a clean with me style video and I thought that it might be kind of satisfying and nice. So if that video is already up, I will link it. If it's not, subscribe and you guys can see me clean the messiest house of all time. You know what upsets me is that I clean my house, okay? And I've been putting it off because I was like, it's so messy. It's gonna take me like six or seven hours to clean it. But I turned the camera on and I was like, you know what, I can do a clean with me. Weird that when the camera's rolling and you know you can't dilly dally and you're just cleaning straight 45 minutes it took me to clean my entire house spick and span uh, uh. Are you, uh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like li literally I have been putting it off for weeks because normally when I clean, I'll stop, I'll scroll, I'll check my phone, I'll <laughs> go on Marco Polo, talk to my friends, put a song on, watch a little bit of the movie, clean a little bit here and there. No, if you just clean straight through so fast and my house looks 
amazing. And then I forgot I did it and I went and left tonight and did some errands. And when I came home, I walked into the cleanest house and I was like, thank you, Christy. Thank you two hours ago, Christy, because you just changed my life. So my house is super clean downstairs. I'm gonna go sit in it, fill in my planner, plan out my week. All of next week's videos are done. All of the week after's videos are now filmed and done. And I'm feeling so incredibly happy. Who knew that productivity is everything to me? But it is, and it's changing my life. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this more laid back kind of skincare routine. Let me know if you guys did. Let me know if there's any products that you guys think I should try from The Ordinary. The Ordinary is a brand that I want to get more into trying because again, their line is so simple and their ingredients are so straightforward. I have a bunch of products from The Ordinary, but I don't even know where to start. You know, I have like this niacinamide or something like that. I have, what's that stuff called? Hyaluronic acid, the rosehip oil. I have a bunch of different stuff from The Ordinary, but I haven't tried any of it because I'm just kind of afraid of it in a weird way because I just don't know what steps to go in with first and like how I should go about it. So if you guys know where to direct me or if you know like what steps I should do or what products I should try, please let me know because I definitely want to try more from The Ordinary. They're a brand that for some reason I just feel like I can trust and I feel like the ingredients in there are going to be good. So I would love to try them out more and I thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not yet and I will see you in the next video. Bye! But... I've got all the stuff. Ah, sound and sound. That's me testing the sound. Do you guys like that? Is it working still? Hello, hello, hello. Is it working? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, it's doing both now. I don't know. No, I'm just gonna turn it back to what it was. Regular, hello, yeah.